Hey guys, we're still rolling around with uh, September, and today we're at a little uh, sandwich shop in Henderson, Nevada, in a little industrial area. It's called Woods Family Sandwiches, so let's go on and uh, check it out. All right, guys, this is Joe coming back to you again with another video, guys. Great to see everybody again. And today, guys, we're at Woods Family Sandwiches. We're going to check this place out. September is still rolling along. I still got Billy Bravo with me, guys. Let's check this place out. Like I said, guys, we got Billy Bravo joining us again. Billy, how you doing today? I'm doing great. You ready for some September, more subs? September, week two. <laughs> yes, guys, this is the second week of September. He's ready to get some subs. We already ordered some subs at Woods Family Sandwiches. Billy, what'd you get today? I got the classic Italian because the Salvo of Vegas recommended that one. That's his favorite one here. And then I also got the Blazing Buffalo Chicken, which seemed kind of weird and strange to me so I thought I'll get that one and I'll try that one. It's just like you, weird and strange. Exactly, weird and strange <laughs> and lovable. <laughs> Alright guys, like I said, we already got our sandwiches already guys. I ordered two subs and the first one I ordered is called the roast beef and basically it's just London broil, uh, Swiss cheese, it also has uh, coleslaw and Thousand Island dressing on it. This is a cold sandwich, it's a cold sub, um, but uh, you can see everything in here. Roast beef. Swiss cheese, coleslaw, Thousand Island dressing. I'm gonna take a taste real quick, see how it is. Mm. So guys, this roast beef is a solid sandwich, guys. Uh, it's very tasty. Like I said, they use boar's head. Um, maybe I didn't say, but they use boar's head uh, meats. So it's very tasty. It's, uh, to me, it's just the right amount of beef in the sandwiches. It's not overstuffed, it's not too little also, it's just right. Uh, it's got a single slice of Swiss cheese and the coleslaw on it with the Thousand Island dressing. So overall, it's a solid sandwich. I did enjoy this one. Also, we also got mediums. They have small, medium, and larges. We got medium sandwiches. So these are the size of, of the mediums. Also, guys, I really like the uh, the hoagie rolls they use. They're very soft and uh, just good bread. All right, guys. So I'm going to try the classic Italian, which has salami, ham, pepperoni, has provolone cheese, lettuce, tomato, red onion, and their seasoning, mayo, and deli dressing. This is also a Jimmy Pena special. Shout out to Jimmy Pena. Actually, a very well balanced sub. Very good Italian sub. Check that out in there. See all that. It's actually, it's kind of like you were saying with roast beef. Everything's like, it's not too much. Not, not enough, it's just like perfect, the way it's layered. So, I definitely recommend the classic Italian if you're coming down here. All right guys, me and Billy did the old sandwich swap. I'm gonna try this classic Italian that our friend Jimmy, the Salvo in Vegas recommended. He said it's really good. And uh, I think Jimmy knows his food. If you've seen Jimmy, he knows his food guys. So let's just check this out. Mmm, that's good. I like the, the the Italian oil, whatever they have on it. Yeah. Very good. Jimmy, you're right. This is a good sandwich. Solid, solid Italian sandwich. I like the little banana peppers in it. Give it that little spiciness. The salami, the pepperoni. Pepperoni is that what it is? Mmm. Okay. Classic Italian guys is really good actually. Hey guys, so what we're trying to do for September for this month is we're trying to actually find local sub shops. That's why last week we did Simple Subs. This week we're doing the Woods Family Sandwiches. Um, but it's kind of tough in Vegas to find something that's really local because everything is branched out to either like California, Arizona, Washington, etc. So, but this place is actually really good and uh, it's located in kind of an industrial area in Henderson. So, uh, but it's like right off the 215 also. So. Alright guys, now I'm going to try the roast beef that Joe just tried. So, and unlike him, I do like coleslaw. Oh no, it's a very good sub. Um, like Joe was saying, 
perfect amount of roast beef. A lot of coleslaw up there, but the bread, the hoagie roll is actually really good. It's very soft, very good quality, and of course the roast beef is boar's head, which we all know is great quality. And the coleslaw is amazing too. Yeah, all together, very, very good sandwich. And you get the Thousand Island dressing on the back as well. All right, guys, I'm moving on to my second sandwich, and this sandwich is called the Bomber. Um, it's a hot sandwich. It's a pastrami sandwich. That's gonna sound weird. It has egg salad in it also. So it's the Bomber. It has pastrami, melted three pepper cheese, topped with pickles, pepperoncinis, red onion, mustard, their special seasoning, and homemade egg salad. So if you look at this bad boy, well, there's some egg salad on top and the pastrami on the bottom. So this could be interesting. Mm. It's the pickle that really sets it off. Different, but good though. We got a lot of flavors coming together with the, the salty pastrami, the egg salad. You can tell their seasoning. They can taste their special seasoning. It's, it's good also. Definitely a one of a kind sandwich. All right, guys, this is the Blazing Buffalo Crunchy. And now, it has buffalo chicken, which you would automatically think would probably be a hot sub, but no, because of the boar's head, it's actually the buffalo chicken chicken, but it's a cold, actually, meat sandwich, and it's got the little onion straws on top. Comes with blue cheese, and also uh, with lettuce, blue cheese dressing down there. So, I'm gonna take a bite of this bad boy. It tastes like a, uh, it's hard to explain. It tastes like a, uh, it's good, That's, it's good, so. You get right in there. It kind of tastes like a spicy chicken sandwich with blue cheese, but not hot, if that makes any sense. But it's very good, um, much like the other two subs, the ratio of bread to meat to lettuce to everything is on point. There's not too much, not too little, it's just perfect. Uh, I'm gonna take another bite though, because I'm really hungry. All right guys, now I'm trying Billy's Buffalo, I'm sorry, Blazing Buffalo Crunchy Sandwich. <laughs> you think this is a hot sandwich, but it's, it's a cold sandwich, so. Mmm, okay. A little spicy, not crazy spicy. I like the chicken. I like it. What did they put mayo on here or something? No oh, blue cheese. Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but I'm liking it together with this. The fried onions give it a little texture when you bite into it, a little crunch, which is kind of nice. This sandwich definitely has a little kick, so if you can't take spices, don't get this one. <laughs> I gotta admit, though, now, now that I took my second bite, I'm getting some more of the, the french fried onions. It's a little, in my opinion, it's a little too salty for me, actually. In my opinion. So I'll take another bite. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, just found out right behind me, they have actually have a sandwich challenge. If you can eat the uh, blazing buffalo chicken, the one I ordered originally, in five minutes, but they add like two more pounds of stuff on top of it. They add like a bunch more chicken and like more hot sauce and whatnot. If you can eat it in under five minutes, then uh, you get the sandwich for free. All right, guys, I'm gonna try the bomber now. And obviously, we decided to save the heaviest one for last, as opposed to last time, the heaviest one first. So, give it a shot. Taste the tangy pickle. I don't know if you guys got in here or not, but pastrami, egg salad up top, got the little tangy pickle poking out of the side over here. Got the red onion in there as also. Um, I'm not a big egg salad fan, and I've said that probably about a few things, but uh, everything together, much like the other three subs, um, everything's very well balanced. There's not too much, not, you know, over. It's just, you know, perfect, so. But this one definitely is high as hell food or hungover food because it is <laughs> thick and you're going to be sitting in your couch for a while. You ain't going to want to move. All right, guys. We just finished our sandwiches and uh, I have to admit, I think my favorite one, Jimmy, you were right. The uh, classic Italian sub was my favorite one. That one um, had a lot of flavor. I love the oil they put on it. 
on uh, the pepperoncinis and the pepperonis and salami is really super good. Probably then the next one, I think my next favorite one would be the bomber. I like, I like the bomber next. But uh, guys, Woods Family Sandwich is a solid option if you guys are looking for sandwiches in the Henderson area. Um, super good, guys. Check them out. All right, Billy Bravo, you just had Woods Family Sandwiches. What did you think? I thought every sub that we had was very stellar. Um, Jimmy, you're right. The Italian is definitely the best one here. Um, every sub is very balanced, plus they have the Borges meat, which is really good. Uh, the hoagie rolls are really soft and really flavorful for bread, which is good. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. And uh, like Joe was saying, it's in the Henderson area. It's kind of been like an industrial area, though, so definitely Google it. Otherwise, you'll probably pass right by it. But yeah, if you're looking for a really good sub shop, a local sub shop in the Henderson area, I highly recommend Woods uh, Family Sandwiches. All right, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. We really enjoyed Woods Family Sandwiches, guys. And like we said, give them a shot if you're in the Henderson area. Good classic sandwiches here, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the video. My name is Joe, and you just watched Straight Out of Vegas. So if you're feeling that vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I release future videos. I thank you for watching, and I'll see ya. called Woods Family Sandwiches. Straight out of the basement. If you can eat it in under five minutes, then uh, you get the sandwich for free. So, know that. Testing. Straight out of Vegas.